Hello Capricorn, thanks for stopping by. I hope everyone's doing well. So glad to see you here, thanks. So let's take a look at your love reading. This is going to be a timeless reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Capricorn. It's going to be published in the first week in September. And we are going to treat this like a buffet table, take what's yours and leave the rest behind. And thank you for your time and energy today, thank you. All right, so the bottom of the deck is a star card. Whoa, Capricorn. Beautiful energy that I'm seeing here. Oh, you're in a nice phase in your life right now. Last week's reading was off the charts. For those who have not seen it, please watch it. All right, let's see. The mutual energy between you and a lover. <laughs> the emperor is driving the chariot. You both are saying, honey, I'm home. I don't know if you just moved in together or what, but you are rushing towards each other. Beautiful energy, Cancerian, very nurturing. The star card, I have to say, this is hopes and dreams coming true for love. This is a very spiritual energy. It's a very powerful energy. It is one of the most incredible love stories and that's what it represents in the tarot deck. It really speaks to two people, two hearts beating as one. Both of you are beautiful inside, beautiful outside. You've both done the work. Let's see what the mutual energy is at this time. Sorry, camera's been on for a long time. All right. Taurus energy, you're both doing the work. You're both in this energy very much of being highly invested trying to build something, working on building something together. How does your person see this unfolding? Well, it can go one of two ways. They're not quite sure. Okay, how do they view you, Capricorn? Nine of Cups, eat, drink, be merry, you're fun, you're laughter, you're joyful, they love you. How do they feel in their heart space? Oh, they feel a little bit weak in the knees. It's almost like they feel like they have to defend themselves against you, sort of always taking charge. <laughs> they feel that that you really are the prominent one. All right. So your person sees the the path forward as being sort of a a small path. They don't really see a super big picture in this relationship. They're very very toned down in their expectations. The mutual energy between the two of you is you speak the truth to each other. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So there is a level of honesty in your relationship that's quite breathtaking. And it's part of what makes you so happy. How does spirit, what is spirit recommending in this relationship? Ooh. Take pride in the relationship. Make one another part of your family. The pride is part of the family. What is the outcome at this time? Ooh, Hierophant. Well, you really share traditional beliefs and relationship, and it speaks to the fact that you may be talking about commitment, toying with the idea of what that looks like. Okay. With this star card, I think it's likely to happen. Look at how it's almost like <laughs> the star is here. Doesn't it look like it looks like they're connected almost? Okay. So let's go ahead and clarify your cards for you. Okay, so why is the star card here? Hopes and dreams for love coming true. Aquarius, enlightened energy. Brilliant luminary for you. The hanged man looking at things from a different perspective. Oh, nice. That's a nice aspect. That's enlightenment if I ever saw it. Pisces and Aquarius energy. No ego battles. Isn't that nice? Just zero, zero ego battles. Why is the energy of honey, I'm home here, rushing towards each other, excited to be together? Two of Cups, soulmate energy. Somebody had to leave another situation is what I'm getting to be together. Eight of Swords. In the past, it felt restricted because somebody did have to leave. I get, I do think this is a continuation of last week's reading, the one that was just published. 
the two of cups it shows that you both love each other that's cancerian energy but somebody had to walk away but the other of you did not whoever had to walk away the other person did not leave you they stayed the course with you this person loved you enough to stick around even though you may have had to walk away from a marriage that you were in for a long time it looks as though the two of you are super connected all right so this is like spiritual soulmates as i see it seven of coins why is it here three of cups there we go three of cups dear friends highly invested in one another for probably many years just really loving each other well at, at a platonic level lots of passion ace of wands <laughs> that ace of wands so there's so much passion so much passion for conversation why is the two of coins here capricorn why is this two of coins here eight of wands reversed okay so there may be times when you can't spend time with each other or there's been times apart when you couldn't see each other all the time because there might have been juggling it does look like one of you might have been married before and so it did make it a little difficult to have passion but look at this energy six of wands winner winner chicken dinner your person really feels as though everything that they've waited for is now coming to fruition how beautiful is that all right so why do we have the nine of cups capricorn they adore you they think you're very funny that's all about making love too ten of swords they feel as though you never treated them badly that no matter what the situation was the ten of swords reverse says that you love this person even when you didn't promise them a future they feel as though there was never any reason to to think that you would leave this person that you were with but you did the devil energy you were obsessed with each other capricorn there you are in your reading you know you kept things under control seven of coins again here we have it again look at this your person views you as a good investment you view them as a good investment even when the ro the going got tough the tough got going you never gave up on each other the seven of wands why is it here your person we have now look at this this happened again this happened to virgo i think I can't remember exactly. Okay. The Ace of Coins, when adjacent in a reading from the Three of Cups, is a new beginning. It is an engagement. It is a reunion. It is a manifestation of a passionate relationship with loyalty in which you could share a home and creature comforts. Nice. Why is a page of coins here? why is a page of coins here there could be children around let's see what is this little offer that your person expected from you i don't think your person ever expected you okay they just kind of don't know what to think they don't i really get your per that your person really never expected to have a choice here and that they have struggled with this and kept it a secret They've been aloof about it. They haven't shared their feelings about it. They felt as though they were responsible for the decision to stay in the relationship and they had nobody but themselves to look for uh, an answer. This is a Libra queen. Ten of Wands. It does show that your person has found this to be burdensome, but look at this. Capricorn, it looks like winner, winner, chicken dinner is allowing your person to give up on the burdens of the past. You really have a chance to be collaborative. You have the chance to live with each other day to day. Nine of Cups, hopes and dreams for, um, this is the fairy godfather, fairy godmother card of the Zodiac. It really, remember, it's, it's I can't believe, look, look at that. They just find their, you make them laugh all the time. You must have a heck of a good sense of humor because they think that you are hilarious. They think you're funny. They think you're fun. They love to be with you. You guys laugh all the time. It shows that they're very much dedicated to you. One more cup and you have the 10 of cups of love, right? 
there's oh wow powerful energy the strength card you have fire in your belly and the courage to carry this through leo energy why is the king of wands here releasing okay judgment okay so spirit said the two of you should be together and so you release something in the past the judgment card is usually literally the judgment of divorce especially when i get libra energy in the reading which i have with the queen of swords and that's what spirit is recommending spirit is saying look at don't tie yourself down to a relationship that no longer serves okay what else does spirit recommend at this time for our beautiful cats be spiritual stay discreet stay quiet keep your business to yourself nurture each other quietly never complain and never explain my friends all right the Hierophant card. Seven of Swords, the end of sneaking around to be together because you make a decision that is long overdue. It's not going to be public, though. You're not going to make this public. You're not putting it front and center. You're going to be discreet. What else do we need to know? The Star card. Oh, my God. Look at that. We bookended this relationship reading with the star, hopes and dreams for love coming true. It's a spiritual card of good fortune, being beautiful inside, beautiful outside, having a relationship that is of high spiritual value. Wow, Capricorn. I'm not even gonna clarify this further. This is unbelievable, unbelievable. Sending you love and light. I hope you join me soon again. If you like the reading, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you're so motivated to do that, it would really help the channel. Sending you love and light. Thank you so much for your time and energy. Bye-bye.